Is your laptop slow or is it having a hard time multitasking with a lot of different applications or browser windows? Well, it might be because you don't have enough RAM. And in today's video, I'm gonna be upgrading the RAM in this HP laptop to demonstrate just how easy it is to do that. I'm gonna be using an anti-static wristband, a plastic pry tool, as well as a screwdriver. And I have the RAM I'm gonna be using to upgrade right here. With all of this, you should have no issues upgrading your RAM. A note about the anti-static wristband, it is connected to the chassis of a power supply, which is then plugged into the wall. So I actually have a ground into my home. So I am fully grounded versus just being attached to say a metal desk or a PC case. So the first step is you're gonna take your screwdriver and you're gonna take out the screws on the back of your laptop. Now this may vary a little bit on individual laptops, but for this one specifically, there's just it looks like five, one, two, three, four, five screws to take the back off here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. Okay, so these screws are retained, which is actually really nice. So you're not gonna lose them. Once you get these five captive screws loose, you're gonna go ahead and take the back off from the back forward. So. This may not be for every laptop, but it is for this HP model specifically. Right back here, there's kind of a little lip that you can reach behind and pull, and it will start to pull the back of the cover up, and then you can just pull it completely off. Go ahead and set that aside, and we can move forward with upgrading the RAM. Now this laptop internally is very simple. As you can see, there's a battery right here and it's plugged in right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. That way we don't have any power to the system. Even though I let the battery fully run out before I started doing this job, it's always best practice to unplug any power source before you start work on an electronic system. Now that the battery is unplugged, there is no power in the system. However, one thing I also like to do when I'm working on laptops is pushing the power button for about 15 seconds after you unplug the battery. This discharges any electric inside of the components. That way there's no kind of static electricity or nothing that can fry any components. So once this is completed, you can go ahead and continue with your upgrade or whatever other repair you're planning on doing. So now that we have the battery unplugged, all the static electricity slash charge discharge from inside the laptop, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to take this cover off to access the extra RAM slot right here. To do that, we're just gonna use this tab to pull up. And there are just little metal tabs right here that the edges of this sit inside. So that's how it's gonna go back in. There's no screws or anything. So here is the original RAM module that was in this laptop. Here is the new one that we're going to be installing. Before we do that though, there are a few things that you can do in laptops to make things a little bit better. For instance, right here is your NVMe storage on this particular laptop. It might be in a different location. This laptop is super simple and easy to work on. It's a great consumer friendly design. So great job HP on making this easy to replace the battery, your NVMe storage, add additional RAM very easy to work with, but you would just swap this out for a larger NVMe storage, either clone your OS or install a new one, depending on what you wanna do. But if you wanna change your storage, right here's how to do it. Super easy, right under this pull tab panel. So we're five screws in and two pull tabs, and we can already upgrade storage and RAM in this laptop, as well as the battery itself. So to install laptop RAM, it's gonna be a little bit different than your computer RAM. Again, you're gonna line up the center slot to the center tab here. One side's a little bit shorter than the other side. And you're actually gonna slide it in at an angle. 
you're not gonna put it straight in. Then you just push down on the center and it snaps into place. It's arguably an easier system than a desktop computer as it's fairly fail safe and it's not super complex and it's, you know, it doesn't require a lot of pressure so it doesn't feel like you're gonna break it. But now I have 32 gigabytes in this laptop as opposed to just a single 16 gigabyte and we've upgraded the RAM. So now I can put this cover back on, reinstall the back plate and we're good to go. Okay, the back plate is installed. It's now time to reattach the battery plug here. Looking good here. So when you plug the battery back in, the fan may start spinning. So the battery was originally dead. The laptop had died and I guess there was a little bit left in the battery. When I plugged it back in, it did give the motherboard a little bit of power to turn on. So again, just an example of why it's very important to unplug your battery while you're doing repairs or upgrades to your system, it started to boot up. So I just had to hold the power button to turn it back off. I can get this back panel back on and then turn it back on. So we're gonna do the opposite of what we did with the back panel. We're gonna put the front down in first. We're gonna just start pressing it down until it's all in place and snapped in. From there, we can start tightening these captive screws back up. So it's back together and we've officially upgraded the RAM in this laptop. Well, the laptop now has 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is really gonna help my workflows when it comes to virtualization, as I will have a bunch of extra RAM to assign to those virtual machines. Not all laptops are created equally, so make sure your laptop has an extra DIMM slot available and is also compatible with the extra RAM you're looking to put into it. With this information, you should be able to upgrade your laptop's RAM with no problem. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.